Practice makes perfect and practice makes permanent. These are sayings that I've gathered through the, through the years with people that I meet. You know, my best, my best teachers are the students. In fact, I came to the conclusion that the best way to learn is to teach. So when I'm reading something, I'm reading some new principles, some things I didn't know, I tell my husband. And he says, that doesn't make sense. So then I go back to the books. <laughs> and then I try again. In this lecture today, we're going to be looking at the first few laws of health. In the little book, Ministry of Healing, page 127, Ellen White says, pure air, sunshine, abstemishness or temperance, rest, exercise, proper diet, use of water, trust in divine power. These are the true remedies. So let's look at those true remedies. And the first one we're going to have a look at is pure air. Notice it's not just air, it's pure air. And here at Living Springs, I think you'll agree that we specialise in pure air, the best of air. There are so many beautiful evergreen trees around there and I think you realise those evergreen trees are, are giving off oxygen and that's what oxygen contains for it to be so essential for our life, is oxygen. Where uh, um, the, the part of our body, it's, it's actually every part of our body, requires oxygen and as we looked at yesterday, and I'll show you that again today, going inside the cell, which is the CBD of the human body. So yesterday we went inside and we looked at the journey of the glucose. We touched what happens with oxygen. But I want to pursue that a little bit more today. Remember the glucose goes in? It goes through a 20-step pathway. And the 20-step pathway delivers to us two units of energy. The end result of the 20-step pathway is a chemical form of glucose called pyruvate. And pyruvate, as the chemical form of glucose, gets fed into the next part of the cell. It's called the powerhouse of the cell. This is the mitochondria, specifically inside the Krebs cycle, which has an eight-step pathway. But that gives us 36 units of energy. And as we looked at yesterday, this pathway, no oxygen. So it produces energy by the process of fermentation. Whereas the eight-step pathway, it uses oxygen. What a difference oxygen makes. Mm -hmm. And it's because of this fact that, that we understand the statement that you will receive more energy than you expend on your morning walk. And I also showed you the other day how right now you're breathing in 500 mil and you're breathing out 500 mil. But when you got to the top of that hill, did the twins take you what, to a hill this morning? Mm -hmm. When you got to the top of the hill and you're starting to breathe like this, you're breathing in 3,600 mil of air and you're breathing out 3,600 mil basically of waste because the combustion of oxygen and glucose at the cellular level gives off carbon dioxide, and that is another gas. So when we breathe in, there are little tiny alveoli, they're like little sacs at the end of each bronchial in our, in our lungs. And over, I'll magnify it for you, over that little alveoli, is a network of capillaries. They're your blood capillaries. So when we breathe in, the oxygen's coming in here. The oxygen goes into the little alveoli. The blood drops the carbon dioxide and picks up the oxygen. It's quite a fascinating process. So then we breathe out the carbon dioxide. Now, Every few years we have to do the um, first aid course. I think no matter where you, you live, you have to do first aid courses. And we used to learn mouth-to-mouth um, -mouth resuscitation, yeah? Well, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> and they don't do that anymore for a few reasons, because when you're breathing in, you are breathing a little bit of oxygen, but not a lot. You're actually breathing quite a bit of carbon dioxide. They recognise now that pumping the, the chest is, is more effective. So that, that's where it all happens 
is right down there. So how many of these do we have? We've got about 300 million <laughs> alveoli in our lungs and that's where the gaseous exchange takes place.